Kitchen juries. <laughs> no rules out here. Princess. He's not dead.
Zone. Look, I'm sorry that told us nothing. I mean, maybe one group ahead of us, another one behind. We just got back off a 12 hour patrol. And where were you patrolling? Kent. We're in Kent. <sighs> I remember that. Yes, right. So, you two don't remember anything about this facility? I'm having real trouble recalling anything about this. I think my work may have been extremely compartmentalised. I seem to remember Kent being very pleasant. Yes, we. Can you tell me why you're here? No. I'm sorry. I, I can't remember. That's perfectly normal. Very normal. Just a few more questions. Why? Do you remember anything about this place? Oh, well, I would have thought the professor here would know. Well, you were just supposed to be keeping people out, of course. That turns into keeping people in. Usual rumors, I suppose. A chemical experiments, new weapons, that sort of thing. From what I can tell, it's more likely the research is was. Sorry. 
Was it the music again? No. It's something else. Can you try and find a way around? There is no other way around. So what should we do? I'll get that night around, Professor. Switch for what is about to come. Hmm? As you are fully aware. Yes, I realize that. She will either be ready or not. There is no other path to take. I know what's at stake here. Do you? Do you? Up her dosages in her sessions. Whatever is needed to be prepared. She could die. And if we need her and she is not ready, she will not be the only one. You know what's at stake. She knew what was at stake. No, she didn't. Maybe not completely. But who amongst us fully did? And that's true enough. And she volunteered, just like the rest of us. And if she could tell you now why, she would probably thank you. Perhaps. No, certainly. Up her dosages and her sessions, I know you can. Yes, sir. What? How did you get in there? They suspect. Do nothing. Think nothing. Ah, we were expecting you. Your schedule has moved. As has mine. Who is this? Ah, I see you've found one of Julius's patients. May I introduce to you Dr. Julius Hicks? Number 36 here is part of an ongoing experiment that primarily focuses on behavioral modification. She was listening to you both as you talked outside this room. As she does now. Well, I don't want to sound rude, but well, with this drip, I doubt that she understands a word that we're saying. I'm glad you're here, sir. We'd like to discuss the change in schedule and the uh, dangers involved. The wheels turn, gentlemen. And so we must all adhere to the schedule, no matter what the dangers. We waste time here. No, we are scientists, not mechanics. And no amount of inspections or strong arm tactics can make us speed up this delicate and important work. As men of science, your folly is to always place your own work in 
such high regard. Giddy with self-importance, you scuttle out of the shadows of your ancestors, wondering how did they ever survive this long without me? And yet, when faced with the real-world needs of your scientific work, you quibble and Yes, Doctor. The real world races towards us and the changing schedule is not an idle threat. You see, it hungers for results that only we can provide. of this fine officer you see Julius they're here to protect you from me ah the inspection of it. I think you'll be very pleased to report sir how far we've come on such a, a tight deadline 36 we have work to do. You must remember. It can only happen if you fall. You will be the only one. Remember. Remember. It must be closed. You must fall. This happened before. Yes. No. Should I give her a oh, oh, oh no. I think that would be a bad idea. All right. So what, we're just going to wait here then. Francis. 